classical music canon may contain some of the greatest artistic achievements in human history. Or maybe it's just a bunch of pretentious junk for the top hat and monocle crowd. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts, a series where we reveal, you guessed it, five random facts about a fascinating topic. In today's installment, we're counting down the five most fascinating facts from the world of classical music. Number five, cats respond to adagios during surgery. A veterinarian in Portugal conducted an experiment where he played various kinds of music for cats during surgery and measured their physiological responses. The findings are still somewhat preliminary, but his results, which were published in the Journal of Feline Medicine and Surgery, found that playing a classical composition from Barber made the cats more relaxed, while ACDC's Thunderstruck made them more stressed. Natalie Imbruglia's Torn, which seems like a twisted thing to play during surgery, produced intermediate results. Number four, complex compositions get the mojo going. I was staring through the cage of those meticulous ink strokes at an absolute beauty. Here's some information you can't do much with, but probably wish you could. Researchers from the University of Sussex played two clips of music for women in various stages of their menstrual cycle. One composition was fairly simple, while the other was a more complex rendition of a similar melody. They found that when asked to imagine entering into a relationship with the composer of each clip, the fertile women were much more interested in the composer of the complex piece than the non-fertile women were. This is my dear daughter Constanza. She is the fiancé of Herr Mozart. Really? <sighs> this led the researchers to speculate that there may be some instinct at work that selects mating partners with intelligence and creativity in their genes. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Number three. Mozart tickles your brain more than Beethoven. But Beethoven, Mozart, they saw it, they could just play. An Italian study published in 2015 found that listening to a piano composition from Mozart, known as K448, gave a boost in cognitive function. But listening to Beethoven's Fur Elise did not. This isn't the first time that that piece of Mozart's has been studied. In fact, scientists have even dubbed the increase in brain function the Mozart effect. Even though over the years many studies have refuted these findings, experiments like that Italian one nevertheless continue to demonstrate positive effects. Some studies have even found that listening to Mozart daily can reduce the incidence of epileptic seizures. Number 2. South African grapes get the Vivaldi treatment. One South African vineyard has decided to play Baroque and classical music to their grapes, all the way from the vines to the barrels. But will it have any effect? We have a lot of people that are very skeptical about what we're doing and, and why we're doing it, particularly neighbors. While it has been observed many times that classical music alters the way plants grow, scientists now believe that it has more to do with the way plants react to vibrations than sound, per se. So touching or blowing on your plants could have the same result. So how will Handel and Bach make this red wine taste? It's kind of a hollow, flabby, overripe. I don't know. It tastes pretty good to me. <laughs> I'm sure it will pair nicely with chicken from this Malaysian farm that plays classical music for all its birds. Number one, many classical composers were kind of nuts. Eric Setsi ate only food that was white and carried a hammer in his pocket for protection. Anton Bruckner was obsessed with counting things and on two separate occasions grabbed the skulls of famous composers, Schubert and Beethoven, out of their coffins. Sometimes I sit and count all day. <laughs> but uh, sometimes I get carried away. Mozart apparently had an obsession with farts and poop. 
He also loved to behave like a cat, sometimes even during rehearsals. We may tend to think of classical composers as being as stuck up and elitist as the royal courts that they played in. People so lofty, they sound as if they shit marble. But if we think of them as the rock stars of their time, the eccentric, misunderstood geniuses of their day, then these quirks might just make a bit more sense. So, what do you think of classical music? For more virtuoso top 10s and eccentric weirdo top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. <laughs>